Hey guys, Pedguin here, and today we are playing the Terraria revamp series. This is episode 11, and last time we were... Oh my god, I almost died. We were running around doing quests for the fishing guy. I think I might do some more, especially if they're in like the vicinity of like me doing things. Um, actually, let's take a look now. Um, oh yeah, before I get started, um, I was just rearranging all the chests, and uh, Twitch chat also told me that um, I could rename these things, which I, I haven't ever done in one of my series before. It's just one of those things I forget about. Um, as you can see, uh, chest, potions, decorations, dyes, blocks. I also rearranged everything whilst, um, I did this, like, off-screen on YouTube. So, chest blocks and stuff, like, there's, I've pretty much sorted out everything. Fishing crap, yeah, you know it. Um, I even threw away a bunch of rubbish. Those demons in the underworld really like voodoo dolls. Alright, so this is... Fishing in the, uh, the ice, the I uh, hell, uh, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna leave this one for later. That's probably gonna be too difficult to do. I'm probably gonna kill the Eye of Cthulhu again so I can get the armor pieces. I really like this armor piece though, so I don't know. I'm pretty sure the armor that I'll get from it actually gives melee increase as well. So my melee is gonna be really, really good. It's just unfortunate that I've got a really bad katana. Alright, uh. I am gonna use because I didn't I didn't even look at these last episode. I'm gonna I oh, only two. That sucks. Uh, all right, let me just change that. All right, I'm gonna actually smell all this armor as well. Oh, all the bars that I get anyway. I don't need platinum because that's not even like in this world. All right, hopefully we can make some cool stuff. We'll have to see. So I can make a silver helmet. And that's about it. <laughs> Wait, I got loads of iron. That's good. Because tin is like worst tier possible. Alright, so I can make a... I'll make a silver... Wait. Yeah, that's good. Silver helmet. Now I look like a badass. Uh, Oh, actually I could make this, couldn't I? Huh, do I want that? Or should I just save up for the armor? I might save up for the armor because um, we're gonna kill the 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 uh, eye again soon. Wherever I wherever I put my oh there it is the web sling is there. It'll be nighttime soon, so we can do that, which is good timing. Uh, where where is okay there it is. Alright, I'm just gonna sell these because I I don't need them anymore. Tiny, tiny bit of profits, but whatever. Alright. I should have probably, like, left one bar in here. So I could have just stacked really quickly. That probably would have been better. I stacked them all wrong as well. God, what am I doing? No, that's fine. Alright. I'm also streaming this on Twitch, by the way. I think I tell you, like, every episode, but... It's just one of those things you can't put off. Alright. I think we had an arena over here last time I checked. So I'm going to check that out. I'm hoping we can, like, how much of the world have we actually explored? We've explored to the end of both of them. Did we find, like, a desert? I feel like exploring the desert one time just to see if we find any pyramids. Because if I get a sand, sand in a bottle, pretty much I can make the best jumping thing. Like, I can combine them all. Well, once we've got the, uh... Once we've got the, uh... Did I not have an arena? Where is it? Oh, it's over there. I did have an arena. Alright. I'm thinking about making a bet. I don't know. I feel like... I don't know if I should keep this hook. Or... Get a, a topaz hook or whatever. Or, or a gem based hook later. Alright, let's do this. Shouldn't be no problem. Where is he? Yeah. This guy's dead already. You can see it just by looking at him. We killed him with no problems last week. And since then, I've been, I kill, I've, I like, I've been doing, like, the angler challenge since then. And the angler challenge is pretty much playing the game, um, only using, uh, fishing-related items. And that, if you've ever fished in this game, the only, me uh, the only, me uh, combat items you can get from fishing are melee items. So, like, the swordfish, and, like, this thing here that I've got, the sawtooth shark, which is apparently pretty good, um... Those are like the only 
melee weapons until you get to like uh, unless you do like 25 different quests and you get that really good fishing rod that you can do in the, uh, the lava biome which we haven't done yet so I killed the I Cthulhu with like just melee weapons like last stream or something a couple streams ago it wasn't last stream I know what my last stream was and you don't want to know alright so yeah pr this, pr this is pretty much a walk in the park right here it's just time consuming killing him Get as many hits on him as possible. Does this put ice damage on him? How good is this anyway? It's pretty good actually. But it doesn't put the, uh, the frost damage on. I wish it did because it's an ice boomerang. Ah, it's kind of annoying when you miss though. But if you hit it really close range you can get lots of consecutive hits on him. probably save my arrows because this guy has no problem there's no reason to waste all my arrows that I could be using for like Skeletron later or something maybe I should try Skeleton Skeletron soon that would skip quite a lot of hard work but then again I've got not many heart crystals and that guy does quite a lot of damage oh what's this oh nothing pretty much uh did we oh we didn't get any um we don't have a teleport thing Alright, I'm gonna go back and use the ore and whatnot. Make some, uh. Well, I, I just made some armor. Maybe I should have saved it. I don't know, actually. Because what else am I gonna use silver for? Probably nothing. I mean, it was probably best I use the arm. I don't know. Hmm. Because I'm probably just gonna sell this silver helmet now, right? Probably. I've got three gold off that as well. How much gold do I have in total? Quite a bit. So if the traveling merchant comes again, like th throwing a katana in her face, I might, I might buy one and hope it's not tiny, because the tiny katana was kind of a letdown. And it seems like a pretty good weapon. So people were saying it's like the best pre-hard, pre pre-hard pre mode weapon. Oh, I just realised that we need to kill the brain of Cthulhu. But do I want any of this? I don't think so. I think I want this now, though. I should have just made this earlier. Oh, hurtful. 11% more damage. That's actually really good. Alright, that, that's that's fine. I'll throw that in there for now. Alright, which side was the... Corruption on? There it is. There's the corruption. Have I got the bombs on me? Alright, I'm going to go and do the corruption. Cause why not? Everyone on uh, on Twitch right now is arguing about who's got the most hours played in Terraria, pretty much. I've got about 900 hours, but I don't think that includes... I went through a phase where I only used like mods and texture packs ages and ages ago. And I don't think the Steam... you ha like It only counts for Steam if you run it through Steam. So I don't think mods and texture packs counted back then. So, I'm probably over a thousand hours, but legitimately, I'm not, I guess. So, I'm on like 900 hours. Last time I checked, I mean, I've been playing quite a lot recently. I've been streaming a lot recently as well. That's why I've been playing quite a lot. And, there's like some people in the chat who are like, I've got, I've got 5,000 hours. And it's like, really? What the? You can't tell if people are like, legit or not. I should have probably sold this silver bow, and then I probably should have. I probably probably should have got some, uh, made some more arrows. As you can see, I've got zero frost burn arrows. I'll cut some of the trees down. I forgot I had this weapon. I got so much acorns from that. Yeah, I'm just going to cut loads of trees down, because I've got this thing, it's pretty fast. 
And it's really far away from my home as well, so... I don't need to really care about replanting the, the trees or anything. I, I don't have any stone on me though, so I can't use that for arrows. Because I just, I just you, you put all the stone in my, in my chest back at the base. Which kind of sucks. I wish you could cut that tree down, like, the whole thing could fall down. But then again, if you make it your home, and then you accidentally cut down your home, everything would get destroyed. I kind of wish sometimes Terraria had, like, gravitational effects on a lot of things. Like, I've played a game called, um, what is it called? King Arthur's Gold. Is it, has anyone played that game? King Arthur's Gold. Um... It's, it's a really indie game, like, the graphic style's not crazy or anything, but, um, every block in that game has, has physical, has physics, like, has, like, natural, like, real-life physics. So, if someone makes a castle, it, th this game's all about, like, plundering castles and stuff, so that's why they made it, like, a mechanic. Um, but imagine in, like, Terraria, like, you're, you're doing, like, a capture the flag or something, and then someone just came over and, like, destroyed your, your base or whatever. And then it would like come tumbling down or whatever. It's pretty cool. And considering you can get like cannons in this game and stuff like that, it could be actually really cool. Maybe if there's like a no, I was gonna say a mod, but it's too game changing to become a mod. Like if it actually became a mod, it would be really like bootleg and stuff. All right, this is my first time here. On this character, on this in this world. Really. I think you need to kill three of them. It's just like the the corruption. I prefer the cr uh, the corruption more than more than the crimson. But it's kind of personal preference. There's no right or wrong answer. Oh, we got black lens. That's cool. I think we need two of them though, to make the uh, the cool eyeball thing. The under the undertaker. Is this better than my bow? No, but it depends on the, the bullets, really. So if I have those arrows, they're better. But if I don't, it's not better. Go figure. I'm going to use this for now. Just to get rid of all the bullets, because the bullets sell for like nothing anyway. And I'll probably, I don't know, I might sell it, I might put it in my chest back at home. Alright. Or I could just use this. Actually, why did that go through? Alright, I'm just gonna shoot everything. Why did that? Alright, I hate that so much. Sometimes you can like, as you can see there, like, I went for a double jump, but because I jumped off the edge as I did it, it cancelled my double jump. It's kind of my mistake, though. I don't know if you light up the area, they stop coming. I know that's like it in Minecraft. But I'm not sure that that's this game. I think if they're just off screen, they will, they will appear. I don't think lighting up the area has anything to do with that. These things are scary, though. I think um, how it worked, I think a good accurate description of the corruption and the, the crimson is that the, crum the, the corruption is harder in um, hard mode, I think, and the crimson is harder before that, like before the wall of flesh and whatnot. I think that would be an accurate description because, ow, when you're in um, the corruption in hard mode, those things that use those spitters on you, they do so much damage and it's like ridiculous. And it's a nightmare to get all the altars when you first get there. Whammin! Nice. Where are the slimes coming from now? Like, why is there so much stuff spawning? I should probably get my bow back out. Oh 
Oh my god, what a nightmare. I crit that thing so hard. Alright, I'll probably grab one more thing. One more of these hearts. Hey, That's nice. And then I'll, I'll probably go back. I don't think I can do the boss just yet. I need to prepare. I kind of prefer the corruption to the, the crimson. I'm just answering some people in chat here. Because some people are saying they, they never get the crimson. They're always unlucky and they get the, crum the corruption. But I think the corruption... I don't know. I like it. I just like the, the purple colour. I, I just like the art style as well. I am stupid. I don't even know which way the entrance was. Alright. It looks like I found it. Like, as you can see there, I just picked up a death weed. Like, that's like oh, purple textures and stuff. I know that's something that's kind of hard to override. Unless you want to just make an alternative um, weed for this biome. Like, make it red or something. But that's kind of going over the top. Because this is pretty much a replacement for the corruption. Which makes the game more interesting, yeah. But, I don't know. It's down to personal preference. I'm gonna cut all these trees down actually. I'm not sure how long this episode's actually been. I haven't actually been timing it. Which I don't mind. I mean, as long as it's longer than 20 minutes, it's fine. Nothing wrong with a bit of wood. See, this thing does quite a lot of damage. I'm kind of glad we got this. Still a while until we get a new quest. Oh, we actually we got this. That's pretty good. It's actually a really good, really good um, item. Yeah, it does a lot of damage as well. All right, our first mage item. That's pretty good. Oh, that thing jumped over me whilst I was looking at chat. <laughs> Yeah, this is one of the most funnest mage items. Well, m early game mage items. It's kind of a replacement for the, uh, the... I don't know. I don't know what would compare to this in terms of cr uh, corruption items. Because they, they have their own individual thing, to be honest. And none of them are, like, really good or really bad. It's kind of just preference. Once again. Like the the vine. What is it called? The vine sweeper or something? Vine rod? I'm not sure. Everyone in chat's sad because there's no quacks today. Yeah, because what would usually happen? If, if someone followed the channel, a quack would happen. But because I'm uploading this to YouTube, um, I don't want there to be a random quack every five seconds. Also, people... Um, I was, I was like streaming yesterday and people were making like fake accounts and stuff just to say something So I don't want something to come up just for the, like the, the episode or something. It's kind of Kind of a nightmare I could actually sell loads of these these sell for like 20 silver each so if you sell like five of them It's a whole gold math. How does it work? Crazy, huh? Vilethorn is, is the name of the uh, item I was talking about. Thank you guys in chat. Vilethorn. Um, I, I guess that can be compared compared with this. They are very different, but they're both mage weapons, yada, yada, yada. It's like how the Undertaker would be compared with the musket. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just like different design and how, how those two weapons work. It's One's better in one aspect. Like the musket might have more damage or whatever, and this one might have better attack speed, yada, yada, yada. You know. I'm actually going to take the stone with me. And should I take the ice with me as well? So I can make 
ice ice torches. Might as well, right? All right, let me just stack, stack, and was there any other die things that we picked up on the way? Not there. Chest potions. All right, got some of those. I should probably take these with me. Crimson blocks. Oh, that's from the. Uh, okay, I don't need that. I should sell the silver bow. I'm not going to sell any of these weapons yet. Maybe I, maybe I'll want them in the future. Um, I'm going to keep this on me. This is a pretty cool item. Uh, okay. I like having my pickaxe there because I don't always want to hold shift. All right. I'm going to put the thingy in the the vanity section. This thing. Is there anything else? We'll probably do the crimson brain next episode. I think I'm going to call this one the end of the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Episode, episode, episode. I don't know why I keep saying episode. But yeah, I'm not even sure how long this one is, but hopefully it's longer than 20 minutes. I'm pretty sure it is. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next episode where we get some more ammo, and we kill the brain. That's what I want to do. Ow. Alright, see you guys next episode.